Today is day two of my journey to 2000. I played seven games. I did like 20 puzzles on Chessable. I'm probably going to do more later on in the day, but I have to go later, so that's why I'm recording now. We're going to go over those seven games. I did a little bit of review before this, so that's why I'm kind of rushing through it. But I want to basically learn one or two things from each game I play. Um... So I'm not going to concentrate on some inaccuracies and stuff like that. I just don't want to overwhelm myself. So in this case, everything was decently held. I mean, I was slightly losing. But un until I did this move, which was just a blunder. Um, I thought, I thought it wasn't a blunder. Because I thought, okay, if he takes, I just take back. Which is what I did. Um, but I didn't see this pin against my queen. I didn't realize, oh, with my queen here, the knight could come in. I kind of just disregarded the knight. And the second I saw that, I was like, shit, I probably lost this game. And, um, yeah, I did. I, it was it was just not good. I thought, okay, if I could get my queen closer, maybe I could do something. And then this bishop-knight combo just screwed me. And then with this rook sacrifice, I kind of felt like taking was bad, but I was already kind of over it. I was like, okay, I'm losing so badly. Even if I take care, it just looks so bad. Like, he's getting into my position so easily. So, so, yeah. So, this was just, you know, I had to pay attention to that queen pin. Like, my queen is super powerful. And I, I think I just disregarded the knight. I was just looking at, like, lines with it going here and, and stuff. And I, I just kind of disregarded it after a while when I should have seen that the queen here kind of screws up my play. I think that was the big thing for me that game. The second game, I blundered, and then I got scared of the position. It was kind of frustrating today. I I, I didn't play that well. I This felt weird. I was like, okay, I could get immediate kind of... I could immediately take that bishop. And um, I felt good about this position. I thought I could do some tricky check stuff here. Looking back, uh, after the game, I thought, okay, maybe this could be something. But even this is just the dumb sacrifice. doesn't work. So, um, cause I remember one game yesterday, I think it was, I could have taken advantage of a check. So that's why I guess I checked here, even though it didn't make sense here. And I just kept pushing this pawn all the way to the end. Cause I thought it would be able to do something. And the funny thing is it kind of was able to do something. This was really clever by me. I think, you know, I saw this check, but I saw my queen covers it. So I just took here and I knew I was guaranteed, um, a major piece there. And then here, this is where my big plunder came in this game. I let the queen get too close. I think I did look at this, but I thought usually when I attack the queen middle to end game, it just runs away to a better position. In this case, it can't get closer to my position when I look at it like longer. I, I was scared. Oh, I'm going to lose this pawn and that, that sucks. You know, I thought, oh, like, what do I do here? But apparently that's when I play e5 because after, after he runs away, maybe it's because I have something like that check and... I could get closer with my pieces. I could also open up the file. Um, so I, yeah, I just totally misplayed this. But it was an interesting position, you know. Totally misplayed this. I was still winning here even. Um, so my biggest blunder happened. Oh, I remember this game. I'm sorry. My biggest blunder happened right here. I was like so excited about this position. I thought I did something really cool. And I don't know why I thought this was good. I thought he could take here, but I didn't... Re like, like, he's pinned this way. He could just take my rook. I just completely screwed that up. Um, it's because earlier I was like, oh, if he takes, this is mate. So I knew this was a threat. Apparently, the engine shows, like, oh, you could just keep this position. You're pinning down the king and get your king into the game to stop these pawns. Like, this, these are scary pawns. Uh, but I didn't do anything about that, and I just, like, lost the game. Because I lost the rook, and I, I was so pissed off at myself here. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe I could go for a stalemate, but I got mated. But what's good is even though I lost two games in a row, I was like, you know what? If I lose the third game in a row, I'm going to stop, you know? I, I, but I still had the motivation to keep pushing. And this was the third game. The third game was played much better, I think. I really thought this knight here was tricky. I didn't realize that the, the bishop kind of has an eye on it. My opponent played really fast here, and sometimes when my opponent plays fast, I try to play fast in return, because then they'll screw up. Like, you see, he's not even under a minute. I'm at seven and a half minutes, and that's actually what happened in this game. So, right here, he brings the knight in, and 
I took five seconds on this move to take, and then after he brought the knight in, I, I mean, I guess it only took four seconds, but I saw it was just a complete blunder, and my opponent resigned. I had a 1900 rating here. And then the fourth game was similar. My opponent just played super fast. And um, this looked super weird. I was actually really interested. I didn't realize this is a, like a book move. I thought he would want to do some crazy trick here. But I was like, okay, it doesn't work. Like, my, my knight stops any queen from coming in. <clears throat> and I was right. I think later on he ends up doing that right here. And I was like, this doesn't really make sense. So yeah, he could win this pawn. But he can't with the queen. Or he could, but then it's just a queen trade, and he, you know, I give back that pawn. Um, but he goes in with the knight, and then right after I make this bishop move, I'm like, okay, this is bad. He could just take back with the knight, but he doesn't. He blocks, and I was like, okay, that's it. I'm taking advantage of this. Like, I'm definitely winning this game. And then and I come in with the, with all my pieces here. I figured he would forget that my bishop could come back to defend, so I was counting on that move. Um, and then here there was a really nice sequence which I missed. But since I won the game, I'm not, like, going crazy about it. Um, and since I was in, in a good position anyway. But there was this really cool sequence where instead of taking, I could have taken here. And this is mate if he does nothing about it. So he could take back with the knight. And then I just, I, I just completely forgot that my bishop is covering, like, that diagonal and prevents the king from escaping. That's what, that's what I forgot here. So, yeah, something like this actually um results in mate i just thought let me take the queen let me play it simple which i think was fine too it was something like um something like this mating with the bishop which is cool and then even if he uh where was it even if he takes back with the queen there was there was something here well it says mate in 10 i'm not gonna go through all that but I'm not like mad that I took the queen. I just knew I had to get my king, to, my queen to safety, so I put it here. So it's still watching the knight, and it's safe. And the rest of the game was just like, oh, don't blunder the queen, <laughs> and uh, and I won. Okay, game five. This was a blunder. Well, apparently it doesn't show blunder on the game engine, but I had four mistakes and I had four misses, which I just I just did not have my king. Defended well enough, I think, in this game. That's the note I made, at least. Like, here I castled, which wasn't good, apparently. This pawn may be coming in as dangerous, and the rook has eyes. It could already come into the position. Um, it says, now white can't stop black from winning a pawn if they make the right moves. White can't stop black from winning a pawn. Oh... Is the idea to put more pressure on the f4 pawn or on the d d4 pawn? Maybe reroute my bishop here? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but there was some plan here that I missed. Um, anyway, I'm just like shuffling pieces and trying to do, trying to get action on this side of the board. Um, I really wanted to kind of break this open because I these split pawns and I wanted to put pressure by checking the king quickly. Um, and I saw this, like, checkmate threat with the queen and bishop coming in, but I thought all of this was fine. Um, I even thought that was fine. It's just, this looks like it's not that easy to get through. And if he pushes the pawn, I'm just going to wait for him to take, and then I take with my f7 pawn. And, like, I mean, I was playing this pretty well. Everything was going well. Um, you know, I had a miss. Maybe the miss was to, like, oh, I just saw that now. See, I didn't see this before. I guess the miss was this. No, but then he just comes here. Whatever. I th There was something I missed here. <laughs> Again, not going to go crazy over everything. Jeez. I just missed a free pawn here. I didn't even realize. Okay. Anyway, this was this was really smart by me, I thought. Like, oh, I win the rook. And it worked. I didn't think my opponent would fall for it. And then I brought the rook back because I knew that there was a back rank mate possibility. Um, I saw that, but it was like too late. I, I literally lost the game because my queen, I didn't pay t enough attention by placing my queen there all the way back here and not getting into the position enough. I actually had no way to, um, like it wasn't doing anything here. I thought, okay, it stops the rook from coming in, but actually the queen coming here now stops my idea of taking the rook there. So it was just, it was just brutal at this point. I thought he would come here. Oh, wait. No, never mind. <laughs> um, but it was just brutal. My queen couldn't do anything. 
And here, apparently, I had this move, I guess, to stop this check. Um, but I, I think I was scared of something like this. But I guess I could have put the queen there. Yeah, I, I didn't analyze this too much. Because I was, I was angry at myself for losing the king. And at this point, I saw that checkmate was, was going to happen. Um, I guess I should have sacked my queen. All right, game six, I took advantage of the position. I played it pretty well. I saw, okay, I can't, you know, l let me try to play on the left side. Oh, I remember. My opponent did this weird thing where they didn't put enough pressure on the D4 square, which I feel like you have to do in this opening. What is this, Karo Khan or whatever? Yeah, Karo Khan. Um, and so I was like, I can take advantage somehow. I could see. And the second they did this bishop move, I was like, no way. Like, this bishop is only protected by the queen. If I could do something here to push the queen away, let me try that. Um... I thought of that, but apparently I didn't see it. Then getting the knight into the game, I guess, was the move. Maybe to come here and blow up the position. I'm, um, I'm not sure. Or bring the knight here. But, yeah, I didn't see that. It also develops my knight, obviously. I saw this sequence of moves, though. And I was hoping he would block with the queen, but you shouldn't hope. I saw that if he blocks with the knight, I could take the pawn here. And, uh, yeah, apparently this is still winning. Maybe even take that. Um, but he took with the queen. And I was just GG's after that, because, like, boom! I, I get his bishop. Like, I'm up a piece. That's it. I'm winning. Here I traded just so he can't castle. And, and then I had to play... I had to be a little careful. I had to make sure I don't... So the reason I moved my rook here is so I don't lose my knight, because I was like, ah, oh, my knight doesn't really have places to escape. I, I just have to be careful here. And, uh, yeah, the game kind of just proceeded. I didn't make any blunders. There was a point here where if I didn't pay attention, I could have gotten checkmated. Um, I think it was here. So if I, yeah, if I did something like this, there was maiden one. And somehow I saw it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so cool. And, uh, and I just blocked it. And this was so cool because my knight protects here, my knights protect each other, my knight protects this. And that's what allowed me to finally play the, the pawn move here. I was waiting to play this pawn move, for, like the perfect time to play it. And then I played it here. I thought he was going to like just take my pawn and I would take and then my rook would get into the game. But he just left it. I was like, okay, time to push it. And then the rest of the game was kind of like, just don't blunder. And you're fine. And then he got into a forked position where he lost his rook. I thought he was going to resign. Nope, no resigning. So a few moves later, I just ended the game. Boom, last game of the day. It felt very intense. And then I took advantage of a blunder at the end. Uh, yeah, I like to play the Karo Khan a lot as black, as you might be able to tell. I should probably study it more. But yeah, I was scared of any like stuff going on here. So I just kind of did that pawn move. And I was getting into the position. Yo, I didn't... Yeah, this... I was... I was proud of this move. I was like, this is such a cool move. And uh, I thought this was good. Apparently, I, I was scared of the rook getting into the position with the queen and the knight and all this stuff. And I was going to trade this at the perfect time. Um, And I thought bringing my bishop into the game was good. Like, I wasn't worried about any of this. Um... But yeah, maybe I should have been. I mean, I would have been, it would have been like still winning, but yeah. And here, apparently I was supposed to take, I, I guess taking forces him to take back because I'm threatening to take uh, his queen. And then here I could do something, maybe is the idea. Oh, in this case, I'm forcing the rook to move. It can't defend the pawn. I'm forcing it to move somewhere. And then I'm just pushing really hard. I, I don't know. <laughs> A little bit hard for me to understand. But anyway, that's not what happened. Um, I saw this move, but I it just looked very scary to me. Just I don't know why. Um, so I did this and I and I looked at this fork and I saw oh it doesn't work, I could literally just take back. And then here I had this beautiful miss, which I analyzed before the game. I get two rooks for, for the queen. Um I didn't want to play it because it just looked scary. I feel like maybe I should have. Points-wise, it's worth it. Um, it just looked scary. So 
this is how the game but i'm kind of stupid because i would have had my bishop so i should have played it but this is how the game progressed i pushed my king so i could carry my rook to the other side even though the engine says ah you have nothing to worry about i was worried about both rooks coming here and then i just started attacking i i don't know what this blunder was that was bad or this mistake i guess um i i don't know what i was thinking there i, I was worried about this pawn falling that i just screwed up everything else but at this point, I just, like, pushed on the right side because I saw that everything here was holding. And I was trying to get my rooks on this position, like, like there, basically. And then here, my opponent just completely blunders. So this was a pretty even game. I, maybe it's more instructive to see my, my mistake of pushing that pawn forward here. Like, I should have just kept the position, I guess. Um, but yeah, then he just blunders. Didn't see that if the pawn takes, I take with... And, and that's like game over, right? I guess I would come here to pick up the pawns and stuff. So yeah, those were seven games I played today. Uh, I did like 20 puzzles. My rating, because I won, I lost my first two games. Then I won two, lost one, and won two or something. So my ELO is 1537 right now. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that. I just want to play a lot of games and try to learn from them. And actually the next game... All right, the next day, hopefully, I use game review to, like, hopefully, I analyze without the engine first a little more, because I haven't been doing that. But, yeah, if you have any tips, tricks, whatever, you want to let me know, uh, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.